Well, a new option for treating cancer is now available in our area. Doctors say it can destroy tumors without invasive surgery, and many patients say recovery is immediate. NBC 10's Denise Nakano has more now on the Health Watch. Tracy, reports are that actor Patrick Swayze had it to treat his pancreatic cancer. Share claims in published reports that her good friend Farrah Fawcett had the treatment as well. It's called CyberKnife, a robot that offers an alternative to surgery for some cancers. Now, tumors are hit with high doses of radiation, and doctors say because it's so precise, healthy tissue is spared. The makers of CyberKnife claim it's accurate, there's no pain, and very few side effects. 47-year-old Sandy Walerski is fighting for her life. The breast cancer she was treated for eight months ago came back, this time in her brain. Recovery from the first surgery for this mother of four was rough. There was a lot of blood and gauzes, drains. Chemotherapy and radiation have other difficult side effects. I was hoping when they said I had the brain tumor that I would be able to do something less invasive that wouldn't scare my children. Here's your cushion. Sandy's doctors recommended cyber knife treatment like this as an alternative to surgery. The video provided by CyberKnife shows how the robot hits tumors with high doses of radiation. CyberKnife claims almost no healthy tissue is affected. Doctors say it's extremely accurate because it's designed to track a tumor even as it moves through the body when patients breathe. And so we can treat moving targets within the lung, liver, and other body parts. So spots in the uh, treating spots within the brain are frankly now the easiest thing that we do with the CyberKnife. This is what we targeted with the CyberKnife. Sandy had just one treatment on the tumor in her brain. She's here for her results. Here's her tumor before treatment and after CyberKnife treatment. The tumor is gone. Where is it at? Where is it at? I don't see anything that concerns you. That concerns me. It looks it looks about as good as we could expect at this point. God, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. You can deserve some good news here, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. The scan shows the tumor in Sandy's brain is gone. She goes home to her children with the best possible news. I'm, I'm soaring right now. I'm soaring. We're starting to get used to these great sort of results with radio surgery. CyberKnife isn't for everyone. It works best on well-defined tumors. Tumors in the brain that originate from other parts of the body do well. Dr. Lamont says it's also an option for people with cancers that are considered inoperable. He says the risks are dramatically lower than surgery, side effects minimal, and people go home immediately afterwards. Denise Nakano for all that and more.